Space Ghost debuted by Hanna-Barbera Productions on September 10th, 1966 and ran until September 7th, 1968. The original series shared time with an unrelated segment called Dino Boy in the Lost Valley. During its original run, there are a total of 42 Space Ghost episodes and 18 Dino Boy episodes. In 1981, NBC introduced 22 new episodes of Space Ghost during its Saturday morning animated program block Space Stars. It would last until September 11th, 1982. Created by Alex Toth, Space Ghost eventually became a late-night talk show host on TBS, later moving to TNT, Cartoon Network, and then ending up on Adult Swim. During his time as a talk show host, his real name was given as Ted Ghost. Following the popularity of Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which ran from 1994 until 2004, a spin-off series debuted entitled Cartoon Planet, in which Space Ghost, Zorak, and Brack would introduce an hour-long cartoon block running from 1995 until 1998. Each episode of the original Space Ghost series usually showed his sidekicks getting captured by some of Space Ghost's enemies. Our hero would eventually defeat his enemies and save the day. Space Ghost's enemies include Zorak, Brax, Sisto, Creature King, Black Widow, Lokar, Moltar, and Metallus. In the original series, Space Ghost was voiced by Gary Owens, who also did the narration for Dino Boy in the Lost Valley. In Space Ghost Coast to Coast, Space Ghost was voiced by George Lowe, who also voiced the announcer, a salesman, and many other characters. DC Comics premiered the first issue of Space Ghost on January 1st, 2005. The series ran for six issues. In this series, Thaddeus Bach was a promising peacekeeper. He soon moved up in the ranks to Eidolon Elite. He caught the attention of Quartermaster Temple and was recruited into the Wraith, which is the embodiment of the Eidolon. Only the best of the best were able to join. They take on the most dangerous missions that no one else is capable of. On one mission to meet a weapon dealer, Temple decided to kill Thaddeus and take his weapons and money. That night, while Thaddeus' pregnant wife Eula was sleeping, Thaddeus wakes her and says they need to leave. Now. Unfortunately, a couple Wraith members were in his home cloaked with invisibility tech. He was then knocked out from behind. Later, Thaddeus woke with Temple telling him how disappointed he was. He also found out that his wife and unborn son were brutally killed. Thaddeus snaps and attacks them all. Outmanned and outgunned, he is shot and beaten some more and then left on the ghost planet, a barren planet with no civilization. Later, Temple announced that Officer Bach was killed in the line of duty, along with his wife and unborn child. Thaddeus was saved by an alien named Solomon. After over a month, Solomon revealed to Thaddeus a secret he'd been keeping from him. He said he was only going to share it with him because he knew he was a good man. He tells him how he was born into war and also created weapons. It was the creation of these weapons that killed everyone on his planet while he hid in shame and cowardice. When Thaddeus sees a ship, he asks if it works. Solomon can see the lust for revenge in his eyes and pleads for him to not follow that path. Donning the power band Solomon created and wearing a hood and cape, Space Ghost was born.
space ghosts went after the members of the Wraith, but is soon faced by an invasion of Zorathians, led by the evil Zorak. While fighting Zorak, he rescues Jan and Jace and adopts them. Things get out of hand when Quartermaster Temple makes an alliance with Zorak. Space Ghost also realizes that revenge will not bring his wife and unborn child back. He defeats Zorak, and the surviving members of the Wraith are arrested along with Temple and Zorak himself. While Space Ghost's former superiors sort out the corruption scandal that results, Space Ghost goes off with his new sidekicks to fight evil. Meanwhile, Zorak swears revenge. Space Ghost appeared in the episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold, Bold Beginnings, where he and Batman team up to battle the Creature King. Space Ghost's powers and abilities include agility, power blast, energy shield, energy enhanced strike, escape artistry, flight, force field projection, gadgets, heat generation, intellect, invisibility, invulnerability, leadership abilities, magnetism, phasing, or ghosting as it's called, power items, super strength, unarmed combat, and weapon mastery. Space Ghost has appeared in 72 comic book issues, including Future Quest, Galaxy Trio, DC Meets Hanna-Barbera, and more. According to comicbookresources.com, Despite the fact that Space Ghost Coast to Coast was famous for its off-the-wall and often even avant-garde sense of humor, the show did have a backstory that loosely tied it all together. At the time, network television was in the midst of an infamous talk show wars between David Letterman and Jay Leno. Ignoring everything but the war and talk show wars, Space Ghost elected to start his own show and settle things once and for all. To prevent interference from any of his old enemies from the Council of Doom, Space Ghost released members Zorak and Moltar from suspended animation, forced them to work on the show for their freedom. The praying mantis-like Zorak was placed behind a circular keyboard and acted as Space Ghost's unwilling sidekick and band leader, while Moltar, the molten menace, worked behind the scenes as the show's director. Though he was never a full-fledged cast member, Another villain from the Council of Doom, Brat, was a semi-regular guest on the show's first few seasons, until he was spun off for his own series, The Brack Show, as part of Adult Swim's original slate of programming. So there you have it, my friends. The history and origins of Space Ghost! Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.